two members. Hello, and welcome back to Game My Movie Recap Channel. Today we're gonna tell you the storyline of a 2023 movie called Extraction 2. Telling us about Tyler Rake, a black ops mercenary who is tasked with rescuing the battered family of a ruthless Georgian gangster from the prison where they're being held. This is the sequel of the Extraction movie from 2020. So it is highly recommended for you to watch the first movie on the card at the top right corner to refresh your memory about the story. And so without further ado, let's get straight to the video. But before we start, please support our channel by subscribing and click the bell icon for future notifications. Now, let's start. The movie begins by showing what happens after the ending of the previous movie, Extraction. Tyler, who we thought had died, actually manages to survive after being found by his team and taken to Dubai for intensive treatment. Despite being in a coma for eight months and having little hope of survival, Tyler eventually manages to overcome the critical period. But that's not the end of it. Tyler has to continue struggling through several therapy sessions to regain a normal life like before. Luckily, there's Nick and her brother named Yaz, who always faithfully accompany Tyler throughout it all. The scene then shifts to a farm in Georgia, where we see a person named Zurab receiving information that his brother, David, has had his sentence extended by 10 years. Zurab is the leader of the largest and most powerful gang in Georgia, known as Nagatsi. His influence in the country is undeniable, to the point that even the governor is wary of him. The governor meets Zurab and personally explains the reasons for the extension of David's sentence. However, Zurab is not pleased with this decision and immediately kills the governor in response. After Tyler's recovery, Nick and Yaz prepare a cabin in Austria as his new place of residence. It's where Tyler spends a lot of time resting with his pet dog and chickens. Suddenly, he is visited by a stranger who offers him a job. Initially, Tyler intends to refuse, but when he learns that the job is from his ex-wife, Mia, he immediately agrees. Mia asks for Tyler's help in rescuing her sister, Ketevin, and her two children, Sandro and Nina. It turns out that Ketevin is David's wife, who is Zurab's brother. Due to Zurab's power, he had Ketevin and her children imprisoned along with David in order to keep them safe from Nagatsi's enemies who are also after them. Ketevin is undoubtedly tormented by seeing her two children growing up inside the prison. She longs to be free from that place and seeks Mia's help. After agreeing to the job, Tyler recruits Nick and Yaz to join him. Tyler also prepares himself as best as possible by starting intense physical training to regain his peak condition. In short, the mission to rescue Ketevin and her two children finally begins. With the assistance of one of Nick's associates, Tyler manages to infiltrate the prison covertly. Tyler only has five minutes to extract Ketevin and her children, while Nick and Yaz secure the situation outside the prison. After infiltrating the prison, Tyler eventually locates Ketevin, Sandro, and Nina. Now, he must strive to get them out before being discovered by anyone. Unfortunately, the escape is discovered by a prisoner who is a member of Nagatsi, and he awakens all the inmates, including David. The prisoners start to riot and attack Tyler. Fortunately, with his skills, Tyler is able to easily handle them. In the process, Tyler is directed to exit through a secret passage. He frees Sandro and Nina first, but when it's Ketevin's turn, David suddenly appears to stop them. An enraged David immediately attacks them. A fierce duel ensues, and ultimately, Tyler and Ketevin manage to end David's life. Afterward, Nick reports that the situation outside is deteriorating. As a result, Tyler and Ketevin are separated from the team, and they agree to meet at Checkpoint Charlie. As expected, the situation outside the prison is chaotic, with the inmates clashing with the police. After all the struggles, Tyler and Ketevin finally reunite with Nick and Yaz. Their mission is far from over, as they now have to fight against the members of Nagatsi who have been waiting outside the prison. Several cars and motorcycles are deployed to attack Tyler's group, but Tyler and his team manage to take down most of them. During the process, Nina gets shot in the arm, so they are forced to quickly treat her to prevent her from losing too much blood. 
Tyler and the others then hurriedly make their way into the headquarters, dodging dozens of gunshots. From the headquarters, they board a train to escape. The Nagatsi forces do not let it go so easily and send several troops with helicopters to intercept Tyler and the others. Two members of the Nagatsi force target the train's control room, intending to sabotage it. But fortunately, Nick is there and must face them by herself. Afterward, Nick and Tyler are once again attacked from the front, causing the train's brakes to malfunction. Everyone scrambles to protect themselves before the collision finally occurs. Following the crash, Sandro asks his mother what happened to his father. He is shocked to learn that his father is dead and that they are currently with his father's killer. Kedavan tries to calm Sandro down, but he is already angry, unaware that his father was actually a villain. At the same time, Zurab receives news of his brother's death. This naturally enrages Zurab, as David was the only family he had left. He gathers all the Nagatsi members to search for the perpetrator and intends to seek revenge for David's death. Long story short, Tyler and the others manage to escape and return to their safe house in Vienna. However, unexpectedly, Sandro, who idolizes his father, secretly contacts Zurab and informs him of their current location. It doesn't take long for Zurab and his henchmen to track down Tyler and the others, immediately surrounding them. In the midst of the chaos, Sandro leaves his family behind to search for Zurab. Yaz, upon witnessing this, immediately chases after Sandro. Meanwhile, the others attempt to find an alternate escape route. During this time, Tyler and Nick's car is attacked from various directions. Eventually, Nick has an accident while trying to chase Yaz. The tension continues to escalate as Tyler, Nick, Yaz, Kedavan, and Nina find themselves trapped with no way out. They are surrounded from all sides by an overwhelming number of Nagatsi forces. At that moment, Tyler and his team plan to seize one of Zurab's helicopters and make a dash for the rooftop. However, the Nagatsi forces are already prepared, waiting in front of the elevator, including Zurab who is also rushing to catch up. They all fight against multiple enemies at once, and yet sustain serious injuries. At the same time, Nick, who has lost consciousness, starts to slip from the edge of the building. Fortunately, Tyler notices and tries to save Nick. Unfortunately, in that situation, Zurab discovers them. Quickly, he shoots Tyler's hand and prepares to shoot Nick. However, it turns out that Nick is still conscious and manages to shoot the area where Zurab is standing before Zurab can shoot her. Tyler then throws Nick and instructs her to save Kedavan and Nina. Afterward, they meet Yaz, who is severely injured, and together they rush toward the helicopter. On the other side, Tyler continues his duel against Zurab on the rooftop. In the intense battle, Tyler manages to defeat Zurab and knock him down. However, Zurab is still alive. He gets up, pursuing Tyler, and shoots his just as Tyler's team boards the helicopter and escapes. Unfortunately, despite their efforts, Yes cannot be saved, and he tragically loses his life during the journey. Nick, deeply affected by Yaz's death. Upon arriving at the cabin with Tyler and the others, Nick spends time cleaning Yaz's body, which is riddled with gunshot wounds. Shortly after, Mia, Tyler's ex-wife, arrives to pick up her younger sister. In that moment, Tyler expresses what he had never had the chance to say to Mia. He apologizes for leaving to carry out missions before their son's passing. Despite being long overdue, at least Tyler feels a bit relieved because he has finally said everything he needed to say. After some time, Zurab contacts Tyler and orders him to meet at the nearest airport where he is holding Sandro hostage. They agree to meet, and Tyler decides not to involve anyone else, including Nick. Upon arrival, Tyler attacks all of Zurab's forces until only Zurab and Sandro remain, who are already wearing explosive vests. Zurab forces Sandro to take Tyler's gun and aim it at him, while Tyler is unable to shoot because the detonator is in Zurab's hand. However, luckily, before Zurab can kill Tyler, Nick suddenly arrives, giving Sandro the chance to escape, but Nick gets injured by a gunshot. Then the duel between Zurab and Tyler ensues. 
Zurab utilizes anything he can find as his weapon, but ultimately, Tyler manages to defeat Zurab and kills him with one final shot. In that situation, Nick is severely wounded and falls unconscious just as the police arrive, surrounding the scene. As a result, both Nick and Tyler end up in jail, and Mia visits Tyler. She expresses her gratitude to Tyler and informs him that Ketevin, Nina, and Sandro are in a safe place. She also tells Tyler that their son never hated him. In fact, before his passing, their son remembered Tyler as someone who served to save others, and he aspired to be just like him. Tyler, after a few days, is picked up from prison to meet with the stranger who previously offered him a job on behalf of Mia. The stranger presents another job offer to Tyler and ensures that Nick is also released to accompany him. The man reveals that his boss wants to meet Tyler and he is confident that Tyler will like him. And the movie finally ended. What do you think of the movie? Drop your thoughts in the comments section below. Don't forget to hit like and support the channel by subscribing and click the bell icon so that you won't miss our future recaps. And if you have any movie you want us to recap, please do tell us in the comments section as well. And until next time.